Thanks to the leaps and bounds which have been made with CGI technology over the last few years, in this video we can take a look at a boat that has not even been built yet. The Bering 100, once she is built, promises to be a great vessel. It will be 285 gross tons, have enough space for 10 guests with 7 crew and will have a range of over 6,000 nautical miles whilst cruising at 10 knots, which is enough to navigate across the Atlantic twice without having to refuel. Moving forward to aft, we have a high bow that allows the bridge to nestle into it, ensuring that the forward part of the superstructure is protected when motoring into heavy seas. There is also a large flybridge with a hardtop that will afford passengers of the Bering 100 some protection from the sun. There is also a large sun deck, big enough for guests to enjoy the weather when in warmer climates. And there is also a large boat deck that can easily accommodate this motor yacht's tenders. Beneath the boat deck is a large al fresco dining area with stairs which lead down to the swim platform located on the transom. But what about inside? Come with me as we take a look at what the Bering 100 has to offer. Here we find bright and modern spaces with large windows which can also be turned into dark, snug areas if, for example, you want to catch some sleep during the day. In this cabin, Berin has made use of the space above the bunk that is positioned against the hull by enabling a buyer to place a third bunk next to the window. And check out this shower and headspace. A large shower in the middle flanked by his and her toilets. At this point it is worth reminding viewers that these are renderings so final configurations when it comes to the building of hull number one could be different. I absolutely love this cabin. For me, subtle lighting is essential as it helps to create a sense and feeling of calmness and serenity. And just look at how well this space is lit with the indirect lighting both on the floor and on the ceiling. This rendering gives us some idea as to what the bridge on the Bering 100 might look like. Note the seating area to the port side of the helm position and of course the four large screens displaying chart information. Of course once the 100 is built these screens will also show other vital information from the radar, FLIR and additional CCTV cameras. This rendering gives us some idea as to the layout of the saloon. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that this is a viewpoint of the starboard side. To the left of this rendering we have a large TV in the bulkhead with a dining area leading to a large but cosy seating area. Another cabin with a fantastic layout, again enhanced by the indirect lighting that will make you feel totally relaxed. Now let us take a look at the general arrangement plans of the Bering 100.
seeing how Bering has a section on its website that allows us to take a look at this vessel, albeit virtually, then it would be rude not to take a look at it. Here are the specifications of the Bering 100. Points to note here are that the 100 has a top speed of 12 knots with a cruising speed of 10 knots. She also has enough room for a 6 meter tender. So what did you think of the Bering 100? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section underneath the video. And don't forget, before you go, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. I think we've just hit the 4,000 subscriber mark now, so I just wanted to say to my subscribers, thank you. I really do appreciate you taking the time to click that subscribe button. It does mean a lot. And if you'd like to support my channel as it grows, then you can become a member of Yacht Boy by clicking on the join button. By becoming a member, it just means that you get access to exclusive features and behind the scenes footage and a few other things as well. And it helps to just support the channel as it grows. So if you are interested, click on the join button and let me know what you think. And also, if you own a boat or a yacht, and you're happy for me to come on board and do some filming, then please send me an email. I'm gonna put my email address up on the screen now. Uh, I really would like to get on board some boats and just start filming some of my own footage and taking some of my own pictures as well. So if you can help me out with that, I would really appreciate it. So once again, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching this little outro. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. So until then, fair winds and following seas.